Welcome to Springer Precision. Today we're going to show you how to disassemble and reassemble the fire control in an XDM Elite. Safety is our first priority, so always make sure that the firearm is unloaded and there's no ammunition in your work area. The tools we suggest for this job are a 332nd pin punch, a screwdriver, and a small hammer. The first thing that we're going to do is remove the slide, so we're going to pull the slide back, <clears throat> put the take down lever in the up position, release the slide, set it over here. The next thing that we're going to do is take down the takedown lever by moving it and pulling at the same time and rotating it. And we'll set it over here. The pins go out from left to right. There's a little C clip inside of here. So we'll punch those out using the pin punch. Then we'll pull out the locking block, set it up here. The auto takedown lever. The slide release. And then we'll go back here and push the pin from left to right. All the way there. I leave it in just a little bit, so it just makes it easier. And then just push everything, pushing down on the grip safety, right out the bottom. Spring got a little out of control. So we'll set those up here. And then we'll pull the trigger bar and the ejector out. We're gonna to wanna to move this pin over a little bit, so I do it now. And then we have a trigger bar, trigger spring. This is our trigger here. So now it's time to put all this stuff back in the gun. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put the uh, trigger and the trigger spring back together, the flat side to the left. Put the pin through here wrap it around. This little guy here is going to want to spring up. So we're going to hold this back when we put the uh, trigger bar in and just push it in and under just like that. Go ahead and put this guy back in here. There's a little groove here, and again, you want to push this guy back. So it sets in here in the, in the little groove and is in front of this spring. Get that all the way in there. Make sure it's pushed over and then throw the lock and block back in. Okay. Now, once that's in place, it's a little bit easier. So I'm going to go ahead and put the front pin in all the way through. And then the takedown lever. There's a little protrusion here. I put that on the top and then just twist and insert it until this lever moves back and forth freely. And again, you'll wanna push that guy back and you'll see how it pushes this to the rear when it's down and up. It'll work better once it's all together, but I go ahead and do that to start it off here. So then we'll take our ejector, put it on the small pin, rotate it back. The next part I do is to use the 332nd punch to get this. And I'm going to do the best that I can. It's a little tricky um, in this angle. But I want you to be able to see it. So this is our sear for our 
our competition trigger kit. So I'm going to go ahead and put the pin punch in a little bit and just get in the hole. Okay, now we have it in the right way. The ledge is on the right. The pin is on the left. So I'm going to go ahead and push this pin through. And it's a lot easier if you're not trying to do it in this awkward manner. But we're going to push it through enough so that the sear is on the pin all through both holes, uh, but not all the way through. That just makes it easier to get the rest of it in. So once we have that there, we're going to go ahead and pull this lever back and then put it behind the sear so that it's not going to be causing us trouble. So we're going to take the striker safety lever and the hook goes to the rear and this little protrusion here goes to the right. So we're going to slide that right inside, sandwich it in. Okay, and now we're going to use this 330 second punch again and we're going to just put it in there and then I'm going to back out the pin so that we can get the spring in there. So the channel's clear, we can go ahead and put our spring in. Uh, the spring, if you unwind it, um, you'll want the hook on the right side so this actually goes over this little bar here. So if you take it apart, you just want to make sure that it's forward and to the right. So now that we have this in here, I'm going to drop it in here gently. Go ahead and put my pin punch back in. And then I'm going to slide this pin all the way through. Okay, so now we have that together. I'm going to push the front pin through just enough that I can get the spring underneath of here, but I can put this leg down and then this hook will go right over there. And this is a good job for the screwdriver. So we're gonna push this down and around and then we'll just move it over and make sure that these pins are flush. And there you go, it's reinstalled. We're gonna go ahead and put our last pin in. Line it up with the trigger. And there it goes. You wanna make sure that this moves back and forth freely. We'll put it up, put the slide back on. I just use the lever to lock it open, drop it, it's back together. That's all there is to it.